Crofton Heights is located on the near south side of the city of St. Louis. The neighborhood is bounded by Nebraska on the east, Shenandoah on the south, Grand Boulevard on the west, and I-44 on the north. From Parkway South on Hannah Road, you will turn left on Big Bend, right on 141, left on 44. After a while, you'll take exit 288 for Grand Boulevard, and then keep right for South Grand Boulevard. Then you'll take a left on Russell Boulevard. And finally, you arrive in the neighborhood of Compton Heights. Compton Heights was founded in 1888. In the 1760s, east of the Prairie de Noires, present site of the Missouri Botanical Gardens, was another large tract of land known as St. Louis Commons. This tract was owned by all the villagers in common for the purposes of cutting firewood and pasturing livestock. It was never intended to be sold since it was held in common. Its boundaries were not fixed because its area expanded as the population of St. Louis grew. Compton Heights occupies the northwest corner of what was previously the St. Louis Commons. Its initial land partition was received in the 1850s. This prairie first belonged to the prominent St. Louisans, James S. Thomas, George Barnett, and Henry Shaw. In 1855, the city limits were expanded to include this area, just southwest of downtown. The Compton Reservoir was completed in 1871 as the city's population continued to expand. Compton Hill Reservoir Park is a 36-acre public park located in Compton Heights. It is located on one of the highest elevations within the city. The park surrounds a 28 million gallon reservoir, which is used to provide water for many of the city's residents. James P. Kirkwood selected the site of the reservoir, one of the highest elevations within the 1855 city limits. As the reservoir occupied only 18 acres of the site, Kirkwood suggested the remaining land be turned into a park. The water tower was retired in 1929 after 30 years when the Howard Bend plant was put in service. The static head from the Stacy Park Reservoir and what is now in the St. Louis suburb of Olivette, Missouri caused an overflow of pure chemically treated water into the sewer system. The reservoir and water tower were renovated in 1999 at a cost of $19 million. In 1969, Interstate 44 was constructed through the northern edge of the park, reducing the area of the park to its present size. The Compton Hill Water Tower, built in 1898, is the youngest of three remaining standpipe water towers in St. Louis. In 1901, more than 423 standpipe-style water towers existed in the United States. And as of 2008, only seven remain standing, three of which are located in St. Louis. The 179-foot tower was built to disguise a 6-foot diameter, 130-foot tall sandpipe in its interior. The sandpipe helped to control the dangerous surges in the city's pipes caused by the reciprocating pumps and maintain an even water pressure. The water tower was designed by Harvey Ellis, who helped in designing the head house for St. Louis Union Station. Occasionally, the observation deck at the top of the water tower is open to the public, allowing visitors to see a 360-degree panoramic view of the city. The Compton Hill Water Tower was declared a city landmark in 1966 and added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1972. A controversial statue called the Naked Truth was unveiled in the park in 1914 as a memorial to Pretoria Schwartz and Deinzer, who were German-American newspaper men. It was a gift to St. Louis by the German-American Alliance, executed by sculptor William Juan Schneider, and was considered to be quite daring for its day. The statue was relocated when Interstate Highway 44 was built through the north portion of the park. Compton Heights is one of the earliest examples of planned residential developments of the American 19th century. The original Compton Hill Improvement Company was formed quietly in 1888 with a $400,000 investment, about $10 million in today's terms. By 1890, over 300000 had been spent in development, including above street grading for each lot, sewers, gas and electric light, water, telford pavements, 
granitoid sidewalks, curb, and gutter. Compton Heights' wide setbacks and curving streets create remarkable vistas, which are punctuated by more than 200 homes of extraordinary and varied interest. The entire neighborhood is a local historic district. The neighborhood is also proud of its cheerful diversity and the range of talented people who have chosen to live in Compton Heights. Recorded in 2010, more than 1,300 residents now live in Compton Heights. <laughs> the Magic Chef Mansion is one of St. Louis's premier Old World estates. Constructed in 1908 by Ernst Jansen, the Magic Chef Mansion was built for Charles Stockstrom at a cost of $49,500. In 1935, Stockstrom died at age 83. His daughter continued to live in the mansion until her death in 1990. All of the original furnishings and fixtures were sold at a week-long public auction before the house's sale in 1990 to its current owner. Over the next 20 years, some of the original items were tracked down, repurchased, and returned to the house. The home has almost been fully restored to its original condition. The Magic Chef Mansion is a beautiful oasis of sophisticated elegance. There's also a cake in Reservoir Park. Compton Heights is a vibrant St. Louis neighborhood with a diverse community, stunning architecture, and is very rich in history. 